Welcome back. This is your host for free, boys and girls. Uh, class is in session. I do want to take this video to show you how mostly non-magnetic stainless steel somehow magically uh, becomes magnetic. And I've already done one piece here for you so far. Um, just to demonstrate that I have done it before and to make sure my experiment's going to work. Because I'm, I generally, like, I've been in the scrap industry a long, long time, so I, I already know these things, but I've never actually done this, you know, out of actual experiment before. But I, you know, I hang around this stuff enough, you just begin to pick shit up. So, we're going to do that with this piece of flat stainless steel here. Let's see, I got my little magnet. And if you notice, she's predominantly non-magnetic. Now, I can't take my uh, hard drive super magnet, and I'll get a little bit of sticky with it, but not much. Now we're gonna come over here, and if you notice where we made this bend, we made this crease, she's definitely magnetic. Now here's a piece that has actually been manufactured. If you take it all around the flat parts that have not been machined or stressed in any way, you'll notice she does not stick, but if you take it to this edge right here, which has been machined and probably was bent under a small amount of heat, she's definitely, definitely, definitely magnetic. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead with our experiment. What we want to do is go ahead and just take this in here, put it in the vise, and generally you want to you want to put the material under a good amount of stress, and that's generally how this stuff does become magnetic. Magnetic nuts and bolts it can happen the very same way. So if we just gently go ahead and bend this. Not too much. Go ahead, take the clamp off. You'll see that it's already got a little bit of magnetism to it, but we gently did it, right? So now we want to put it under real stress. We want to be a little bit more violent with it. Come over here. Put it in the clamp. Grab my hammer because violence and hammers go together. And what we want to do is we just want to go ahead and really yank this thing, so... Actually, let's go ahead and, uh, we'll keep right back in the vise for a minute. I'm just going to go ahead and yank it back the other way. We're going to pull her out, and hopefully, if this works well, uh, I'll have thousands of views on this video, probably not. Sure enough, she's magnetic. It's definitely got a magnetic... Oh, no, there you guys go. Now it's definitely got a magnetic pull to it. And that, my friends, is how normally, naturally, stainless steel, non-magnetic stainless steel, um, becomes magnetic. Um, and as you can see, if you take it and you put it on the face of this, it's still not sticking. But if you take this exact material, it's not... All you've done is you've realigned the... Uh, molecular structure when you've created this sort of violent twist and bending of the molecules. So, that being said, that is where scrap yards tend to rip you off because there is magnetic stainless steel that's still stainless, meaning it won't rust and it won't corrode. But there is non-magnetic stainless steel. And this is technically supposed to go in the non-magnetic stainless steel bin and I'm supposed to be paid more for it because it's not magnetic, right? When it comes to scrap yards, they, their sorting process is usually done by magnets. So they want, they don't want anything that can be picked up by a magnet. All that being said, this piece, because it is now magnetic, technically speaking, now not around here, I know the scrap yards are a little better and they know me and I know their shit. Um, and they would actually probably give me less for this, um, especially if I didn't know any better or they didn't know any better. So hopefully that has been an educational video for you. And hopefully you learned a little something today. And like, subscribe, hit the comments below, ask me any questions you want to. Um, I may do more videos like this in the future. Carbide happens to be very similar, except you can't bend carbide. But if you put tungsten carbide in the making process with certain alloys under a certain amount of stress, you can get magnetic tungsten carbide. Have a good day, folks.